When Kwesinya Antechi was the FA boss, we saw the highest level of corruption at the Ghana Football Association. In Ghana's history, or in the history of Africa, we, a year, the former CAF president, Efriho Isai Hayatu, the most corrupt person who has been involved in football or soccer in Africa is Kwesinya Antechi. In fact, Kwesinya Antechi, FIFA themselves, they have sanctioned him because in FIFA's books, Kusinya Tichi is a first-class criminal. Where's me answer? So, we were thinking, say, after a NAS expose, you know, a year number 12, you know, we wouldn't see any serious criminality at the Ghana Football Association. Because we thought, say, it is some a So, majority of the people in Ghana, we were all like, okay, Kusinya Tichi, you know, or you for, or you he was he was caught on camera. We saw Sir Kusin Yantechi, the colleagues of Moa Baimu, from the president to the vice to Anthony Carboni and Omina before they were stealing from us. Kusin Yantechi in a Kaye road contracts. Dian Dian Kusin Yantechi is a, a historical criminal. Or no, in the history of the world and Ghana football, no, he will be named as one of the most corrupt football officials in the history of Ghana. Or you read or you come for. When you go to FIFA's website now, click here. One criminal from Ghana about soccer, it is Kusinya Antichi. It is there. It will be there forever. Now, after Kusinya Antichi's exit, we thought to say the Ghana Football Association has been cleaned. Has been cleaned in a sense to say we thought a new generation was coming to take over. A generation that was going to be honest, a generation that was going to be transparent, a generation that was not going to mix family and friends in in running the Ghana Football Association. So majority of us were very happy, excited, because the football a year fraternity, you know, they know there's a cabal, a cabal that is basically equal to a year, the the uh, the Mexican a year drug cartel. If you want to compare a year Ghana Football Association cabal you know, and I say I'm a cartel you know, and I am a criminality, it is say welcome Mexico. The sin a year the cartels or more how drugs or mukunipano the Ghana Football Association cartel no, is not different from it because what they are doing there is basically destroying talent. And the more you destroy talent, the more you destroy a whole the generation. Now, the Ghana Football Association led by this man called Ket Okreku, this gentleman, after the exit of Christine Antichi and his group of criminals, you no. Know, most Ghanaians thought to say, we have gotten to that point whereby there will be some kind of a uh, um respect and uh, transparency, that's the word I'm looking for, in the managing of Ghana football. So when this gentleman took over, so many people were, ex were excited because one, he was young. We thought to say, he didn't really have any serious political uh, affiliation. We thought to say he was going to learn from Kusinya Antechi's mistakes and those who have been there before because he was around. He's been lingering around when it comes to football administration. But we didn't know that this guy was more potent. The venom, no, it was more potent than Kusinya Antechi. Ket Okreku has become one of the most corrupt football administrators in the history of Ghana. In fact, He's more corrupt than Kusin Yantechi. I'm going to say this again. Ket Okreku, who is the boss of the Ghana Football Association. I'm talking about the Sinaloa, Sinaloa cartel. I don't want to mention it, but you're saying it. I, I, it's fine. The Sina cartel. Ket Okreku is more corrupt, more dangerous than Kusin Yantechi. Now, today I'm going to take you through what is happening at the Ghana Football Association, led by Ket Okreku. Ket Okreku. And the level of corruption, now, some individuals you don't even expect to be part of this cartel, no? you see them in there. Ket Okreku being the GFA boss, the same time has a football club, Dreams FC. Now, Ket Okreku, who manages Ghana soccer, basically, is basically using his football club to manage the Ghana Football Association. 
and every single person be or be a or your part of football or soccer, no, they actually know what I'm talking about. And what I will be telling you here or showing you here. Now, my mentor idea be what I can tell you today is Ghana football is dead. And that's it. I have seen ex footballers, ex uh, uh, black star players make these same statements. Ghana football is dead. Since uh, the latter part of Kusinya Techi's exit to date, Ghana football has died. It is gone. We don't have anything called the Ghana Football Association. We have group of a, a group of a group of criminals who have come together to use their mind to destroy our football. For about seven years now, Ghana football has not seen any success. From the Premier League to the national teams. From the cold side to the women's football to a year even uh, other sports ah, are affiliated to Ghana Football Association. We have not seen even one success. Since Ket Okreku became the boss of the Ghana Football Association, the Ghana Football Association as a whole, we've not won one medal. Now, how are we going to judge this guy's performance? If this guy still wants to be the boss of the Ghana Football Association, how are we going to judge his performance? Are we going to judge his performance by going in or traveling to take part in competitions, taking Ghana's money there and coming back with nothing? What has Ket Okreku done that today, Oya Ghana ni Nasa also Ope Ghana Football, Ope Soccer, you will still say, say, Ket Okreku should still be maintained as the GFA boss. He has collapsed Ghana soccer or Ghana football. There is no enthusiasm. There is no excitement. Nothing will make anybody take his money and say, I want to put into Ghana football. There's nothing that is exciting about the local league. There's nothing excited about our national teams. There's nothing excited about Ghana football as a whole. So you ask yourself, was Kwesinya, uh, was Keto Kreku brought in to come and win or to come and make excuses. There was a reason why we changed leadership at the Ghana Football Association. And it was simple. It was for somebody to come and move Ghana soccer from here to there. Now, when the person you're expecting to move the soccer from here to there, at this point, has not been able to even move it from where he met it. And now he has dropped it further below. Why do you still want to keep that person? Many Ghana football people for the Kasa. Moa, Mose, Mona, Motuaba, Mona, Moiki, a decision. No, the football people, the criminals, now more Ghana football association. Moa, more around Ghana, now Moko Tuaba, Equi leaders, or Ghana football. Mona, Mena Motua, Mena Monomaka, if you say, see, I can say Keto Kreku, I say Ghana soccer. It is not him as a person, but it is you people who are helping Keno Kreku. To fail more because you are supporting his vision and agenda that is not basically at the end of the day benefiting Ghanaians. Because Samo Tuaba, Samo react here. So you people are still in support of somebody who is leading an effort that is not winning anything. That is basically the quality and the enthusiasm and also the excitement about the game he came to meet. You know, meet, you know. it is basically now being dumped in the trash and you people are still supporting it then it means a yamumum and a mama keto kreku june say he's doing a good job because mono money keto kreku no more cartels mono more ya crumb for say keto kreku and you be all your and benefit some you people will speak out and say ket o kreku you need to leave ghana football association until and i say unless say can o keto kreku criminality and the corruption and in the Sika or through Ghana Football Association, you the so-called committee members and executives are benefiting. That is why you are still you are still supporting Ket Okreku to be the football association president. Now, Ket Okreku has failed. He has failed totally from national team to uh, yeah, the local league. There's no success anywhere. Nobody can point to one success Ket Okreku has chalked since becoming the Football Association president. One.
you will not get it. For the past three to four years, we have seen a young man who has spent most of his time parading on different astrotephs, parading in different dressing rooms, parading in the corridors of power, pretending to be important to politicians than working hard to sustain Ghana football. Katokreko has become a political stooge. Today, politicians decide the vision and how the Ghana Football Association must be run. On Monday, in the Ashanti region, the FA and its collective members, meaning the FROMO, they say they will be voting. They are going to have a Congress. Ewo. KNUST. Ewo Kumasi. Into the Noba Santime Mwa. The football people and most importantly, the Asantime sports journalists, you know, this is their time. They are basically sitting on radio and all that they are doing is begging. And Kranfone Ba. And Kranfone Diska Ba. Into the internet radio. So, now yem pampa and I say yem ma keno kere kwa samu nye de keto kere kwa samu nye de na yem sama ni tumi efri so mu fin kain ba omu be bre black star jezi omu be bre e ye ska omu be bre kachere se se assignment be da honi ye kubo bo wabru chira ye ban kran ya accreditation omu be ma ye e tu ba ashanti regina majority of the radio presenters no they are all sitting there and praising ket o kere ku adin tira it is all for their benefits Asante koto kona eguno, akra hatu folk na eguno, kimfai sana eko relegation na eguno. Eye omo amakano, the people who are supposed to be the gatekeepers, eye journalists no, sports journalists no, majority of them no, they have decided to at the end of the day follow suit because omo we say enkrain vano football people no, they keep making money, they keep making money. Omo ti radio so, omo ba no ma one hundred dollar. Omo um, 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 hundred Ghana. Omo um, de Debiano almost a hundred Ghana. So at this point, you know, they are rather going to help them to destroy the game more. Until when you say Ghana soccer has collapsed, and yet Keto Kre Kuna only did know and yet the media, majority of the sports journalists in Ghana, there are some that are very good. About 10% are doing legitimate job. They are speaking on the matters, they are speaking on the issues. But 